Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm now back at Harry's Bar, the one that I haven't been here for a while, so I apologise for that. So, this is a nightclub to a 22 unit scheme. It is called in half a 7 bed HMO, an 11 bed HMO, and 4 self contained units, 2 1 bed flats, and 2 studios. So, come on round, I'll show you exactly where we're at at the moment. We've had a lot of structural problems. We're basically working on keeping the building upright and watertight. Well, I'll walk around and give you a guide on exactly what I'm doing. Come on through. So, if you've seen all the other videos, you'll know exactly where I am. I'm at the front of the building, at the bottom of the main staircase. If you haven't, I'll put a link below to video one so you can keep track of exactly what I'm doing. So, let's walk around. That staircase is getting taken out, but I'll talk about that shortly. This section here, if you can remember, was the original bar. Someone was serving pints while you'd be on there arguing and fighting in the nightclub, yeah? So, there's a nice big bar here. It's all been taken out. It was a raised deck area. And there was a sink here that was constantly leaking. So, this is going to be the communal area of the nightclub. So, from this wall, all the way through to there, this section over there, that wall, that is the communal. Also, the communal space comes all the way up here, all the way to that window and all the way to that front wall. Over the two HMOs, it's 186 square meters of communal space. Absolutely massive. So this back here, this is going to be one of the self-contained studio units. So come on through. It's a little bit wet, so be careful, but I'll guide you through exactly what it's going to be. So this section here is getting bricked up, so this is not included in a HMO. This section is self-contained with a door through here. So what you'll see, yeah, so here is a self-contained unit. Where Owen on the camera is now, that's going to be the ensuite. So this section, so for the first, say roughly to here, is the ensuite. Just stay there. So you know, here might be a bed. Then we can have a bit of a dwarf wall here, and that will be the kitchen lounge. So you come in the door, kitchen lounge, bedroom, ensuite. So you can literally see I am now in the lounge kitchen. That is going to be an egress window for the fire. They can get out of there as well. So, as I said, this is a studio. Follow me through, I'll show you the rest of the building. So we're currently back now in the nightclub, as you saw there, and we're walking around in a big circle, as I normally do, but explaining the problems that we're currently having and had. So come on through, carefully standing. Have a quick look in there, it's not a nice place, but it's an old toilet. This is something that we'll, we'll be looking at in towards the capital allowance claim, but that will come later on. There is a basement down there as well. But what, you'll see, what you'll see here, this is going to be part of two bedrooms. If you can imagine, that, let's say, say a window and a window, so it's two windows, long bedrooms, one bedroom that way. So if there was a bedroom here, all the way there, and all the way there. So two bedrooms on this ground floor here. Nice and space. That is a side toilet. You should remember on site, always have running water, a side toilet, clean and tidy site as possible. You need somewhere for a sitting space. So when they have downtime breaks, first aid kits, hot, running water and a microwave. So always remember side set up as well. So come on through, be careful of the water. So what I'll do now, I was going to go around the circle, I'm going to show you all the ground floor, then I'm going to go up on the first floor to show you around. So come on through. So this is getting boarded off or bricked up. So that would have been the seven or the 11 bed. This section is going to be the other side. So come on through. All the staircase is getting taken out. All the floor is getting infilled. The same again. It's that the same as that side. From the wall, you just walk through. All the way across is going to be communal space. As I said, 186 square meters of communal space. 
That's probably bigger than a seven or eight bed HMO on this ground floor. Okay, so come on through. It's, it's absolutely throwing down today. Once I chat, you can't look through the window of the minute, but what we've done, the outside studio is exactly the same as the one on the other side. We've got one through the wall there. The roof has collapsed in, so we put a temporary structure in, Try to put felt over it, uh, sorry, tarpaulin over it to keep the rain out. But it's doing 90% of the job, it's still getting wet. But because of the structural problem, we've had to do that to keep the building upright. I'll show you more about the structural now, but have a quick look out the window. Look at the work we've been doing. So yes, yeah, so we've got two studios there I just spoke about. Here is a one bed self-contained flat. This wall is getting bricked or boarded up, exactly like the rest of them. So you can't gain access to the HMO from here. You can only gain access from the door that I'll show you shortly. I'm not sure you can see me in here, but hopefully you can hear me. But the door is going to be on my right, possibly on your left, which is here. That's the door that comes in here. You're now standing in the kitchen, which is here. Uh, roughly speaking, here is going to be like the bathroom in a shower room shape, and roughly here there'll be a corridor coming through at the side of the ensuite. There'll be a wall here, roughly like this. One side is going to be the lounge, the other side is going to be the bedroom. We have got to fit more windows in the rear here, but lesson learned. So, this is where this building originally, the ceiling above. You can see we're going to replace the whole first floor. So the right above is exactly the same as down here. One bed flat here, one bed flat above. Exactly the same layout, I'll show you shortly. But all the floors we've gotten, we've replaced all the floors. We've obviously put joist hangers in, we've put obviously, resin rods and everything. And then what the structural engineers told us is for the, the party walls for the ensuite and the lounge, and the party wall for the lounge and bedroom, we've got to dig them out put a strip foundation in, build them up in solid block or brick, tie them in to both walls, but build them up from the floor all the way up to the roof space to basically pull all the walls back in. The problem being is, right behind me, roughly in that corner, I can show you later when you go back to my car, the wall has got a bulge. It comes down, we've added a laser level on, a laser level on, and basically it's gone past 30% of where it should be. So the structural engineer has said that the building is structurally unsafe. So as in this back wall, not the building, just the wall, we've got acro pops already prepping. So what we're going to be doing is, and we've got no choice, we've got the building control involved, we've got the structural engineer involved, and what we've got to do is this wall here to my left starts on that corner all the way down to this corner here. So there to there, might be a bit dark. I've also this section here, so we've got this base and this wall, we've got tape all the way down. From the roof, all the way down, we've got to take the tiles off the roof. Okay, can you see me okay? So you've got to take the tiles off the roof, you've got to pull both walls down, we've got acro prop each floor. We'll take the tiles off, that'll bring off a lot of weight. Then you've got to dig, strip foundations, and build up with block and render. We're going to do like for like, there's already block on the external wall here, so if you turn around, please, Eric, look at this. That's an external block, internal course, external block with original. We will be putting dual block skin all the way up, nice and level. That'll tie the building back together and will render like for like. So, definitely something to learn on. So, this one is a structural problem and it's based on this section of the building. So, that's a big cost we, we didn't think about, but we are doing savings elsewhere, but it's still a major problem, major cost, but we've got over it, hopefully. As soon as we pull it down, build it back, we won't even know. So come on through, I'll take you up to the first floor. So, what I'm going to do, we've got one little section here, then we'll go upstairs, I'll show you some more leanings upstairs. So, come on through, be careful with wood. You'll see, as we're walking around, there's a lot of old joists, so to my left here, old joists everywhere. A lot of them are damp, rotten, 
on the right hand side also you'll see this is a new section we've been fitting over there is a lot of old stuff if you look above your head as well look all up against the brickwork so right up against the section there it joins in i've got pan across all that a lot of that there is also rotten as well so if you have a look up here you can see now we're starting to strengthen and rehang a lot of the joists so at the moment we're currently stripping out and realigning the building they're replacing all the fitting new just to tie it all back in together so we're still on strip out stage we're still on making safe stage so that's where we are coming out with the ground floor it's not major it has been a major problem because of the structural but we are pushing ahead these things can even knock you back or make you stronger make you learn a lot of stuff and push you on forward so thank you very much this is the ground floor stay tuned i will put video two down below here if you haven't already subscribed and you want to know more do subscribe and i'll get back to you soon thank you very much